it's Neva with Bigger Pockets, and I just wanted to drop in today and share some strategies for real estate agents how to survive the 2020 recession. So we see like a lot of indicators right now that a recession's coming. Um, the coronavirus has like millions of millions of people quarantined inside our houses. Businesses have been told, look, you're not essential. You just can you need to close and just not operate at all so basically a recession is it's widespread economic decline for at least six months so we do see indicators that that is coming and a lot of experts even before all this were predicting that we were due for a recession because we were just in the like the longest bull market no one can really predict how long a recession will last according to the national bureau of economic research on average our, our recessions have lasted 11 months. However, the 2008 recession lasted five years. That's on the, you know, took five years for the economy to turn around. However, when we look at household income wealth from 2008, it's taken longer than five years for households to recover from the 2008 recession. So we even now in 2020, there are households that have not fully recovered from the 2008 recession. In 2008, if the household income was 100,000, and then even now in 2020, they are working, they are employed, but their household income is 80,000. So that's an example, they have not fully recovered to be in the position they were in 2008. I just point out the timelines because as more data comes out on the coronavirus and more experts are gonna come out and give us, you know, timelines and things for the virus, for the economy, that we should always plan for longer than they're estimating. Because even if the economy recovers in the time frame that they predict, in the time frame with all the stimulus packages, most likely for your business, it's gonna take you longer to recover or to be in a better place than the economy because it's gonna take time for all these benefits from the stimulus package to trickle down into the economy and to trickle down into the households. So I just wanna add that if they estimate this recession takes 18 months, you know, plan, do your business plan for three years to survive the recession because that's even if it, you come out faster, you still end up in a better position. So I just want to emphasize that before I even start throwing out strategies that the timelines are crucial for how long you need to plan and how long you need to work at surviving a recession. A couple mornings ago, the federal chair was on the Today Show talking to the American people. This is significant because never ever has the federal chair come out to talk to American people on a morning show. So that's to tell you it's a, a big indicator for us that, you know, there's millions of us quarantined at home. A lot of people have already received layoffs. They're in home, stressed out. The coronavirus, we have like so many unknowns. There's high anxiety. We can definitely see that his, his main purpose was to come out and build consumer confidence. So I just mentioned this because we see, you'll see different, different indicators of things that are happening that are kind of telling us, hey, now is the time that we need to buckle down and plan for a 2020 recession. One of my, my best tips for you is to contact everyone in your database. And your database should be, you know, all your past clients, friends, family members. If you do not have a database, now is the time to build one. Just get a simple spreadsheet. You need to have their names, address, phone numbers, email address. Contact everyone and just say a quick, I'm just calling to check on you to see how you're doing. That is it, it really needs to be in this particular call. But you wanna reach out to everyone and just say, hey, is there maybe anything that you need and things like that. After that, each month, start to provide a monthly update on what is going on locally in the real estate market because people are craving that information right now. What is going on locally in their real estate market? Because right now, if I turn CNN on, I get all this information on nationwide, what is going on with the coronavirus, right? However, when I talk to my family members and friends that are essential workers, firefighters, police, um, nurses, doctors, 
I get more local information on what is really going on as opposed to what I see on CNN. That is what you want to provide in the real estate space. You want to provide local data that they are not seeing on CNN because CNN is not going to come down to your farm level and provide detailed information. You need to provide things that there's usually 40 houses on the market and right now you go on to MLS and you pull up to see what's new to market and either you see none or five or ten that is significant data because that's telling you that people are holding off putting their house on the market because hey usually we have 40 right now there's only 10 or hey I logged in this morning and my farm no new listings at all so that tells me people are holding back putting their houses on the market that's the kind of data that is significant. You want to be the local expert that people reach out to in real estate right now. For instance, one of my um, buyers right now sent me a quick text asking, hey, Neva, should we still keep looking for a house? They, these are people that already, they are already pre-approved, okay? They're still working, they have not been laid off. So that's what I'm saying, you need to be that person, you're trying to build up to be that person that people reach out to, to find out, should I even still keep looking for a house even though I'm pre-approved for a loan? 10X your lead generation, it's time to put into effect a lot of Grant Cardone strategies where he said 10X. And the reason why I would say here you need to 10X your lead generation is that in a down market or recession, you have to work harder just to maintain the business you're used to having. However, in a recession, I would tell you that you need to focus on actually expanding and growing your business. And the reason is because Past recessions have showed us that thousands upon thousands upon thousands of real estate agents are going to leave the business right now. And I'm talking even top agents. They're going to leave this business because prior recessions have taught us this, okay? So what we want to do is expand our farm. Whatever, if add an additional neighborhood to your marketing, add an additional demographic to your neighborhood. So you're looking for when this recession is over that your farm, your business is even larger because all the agents that, that leave the business, it's time for you to take their customers. So definitely focus on marketing. I would even say to increase your marketing right now just so that you know that this is the time to get more focus to get more leads and to grow your business. Reach out and become friends with people that are active in real estate, even in a down market. I made a list here. Um, and what I mean is these are people that are, going to, that are going to be working real estate transactions in a even though it's a recession, right? So you have people like, where's the list I did? Lawyers, accountants, building contractors, uh, private lenders, mortgage originators, bank mortgage services, servicing manager. These are the people in the REO departments. These are people that even in uncertain times, they're active in the real estate market. The reason why you want to um, make contact with them is referrals, referrals, referrals. Remember, remember even if these uh, contacts already had a real estate agent that they've been working with for years, remember, a lot of real estate agents are going to leave this business. Now is the time for you to reach out to lawyers and let them know you are available for their transactions to help their customers. You are available to work with. You're available to send them referrals and then they send you referrals. All that. Now is the time to do that. Look into being an expert in the areas of real estate that will become very active in a recession because during a recession guess what people are still going to buy property people are still going to sell property people are still going to hold property in your particular farm you need to be in front of everyone that is buying selling and holding okay for buyers if you are not a real estate agent right now that has really focused on buyers it's time for you to start studying up and building and becoming a buyer specialist. My bigger pocket folks, a down market investors are busy. Cash buyers are busy. You need to be reaching out definitely to your investors in your database because it doesn't matter what is going on with lending right now, 
they have cash they can buy because anyone that has their house on the market in this economy right now with all that's going on they definitely need to sell because a lot of people are holding back right now if they can because they want to get max price and there's so much uncertainty right now so right now honestly i mean house that are on the market definitely an investor with cash can put in an offer 20 30 percent below you know what the price is and it may be accepted so now's the time doing a down market buyers that are going to be active are going to be investors things that are popular in a recession short sales foreclosures it's time for you to study up while you're quarantined and learn about the short sale process learn about foreclosures because you, we know those are going to increase during this market so those are the type of things that you want to do is increase your knowledge and become a specialist in the areas of real estate that you know will be popular Another thing, I mentioned that you still need to reach out to people that, that are going to choose to hold their property. The reason I say that is one, you can increase your income by providing uh, property management services. And two, people that hold their property through a recession, guess what? When the economy is better, they're going to sell. You want to be the agent that has already built a business relationship with them and they use you to sell the property. So that's why I'm saying whether they're buying, selling or holding in your farm, you need to be the agent that is actively reaching out and providing them information and being known as the local real estate expert. You need to minimize your expenses right now. So answer three questions as in, what are the things that you can just get rid of right now? These are things that are not a necessity they're just some fluff something you added now is the time to cut them from your budget and minimize your spending also the things that you look at in your business that you need look at it are there options to get it to renegotiate how much you're paying is there another company that offers the same service for less now is the time to minimize your spending okay and then, like I said, your marketing, you wanna keep that consistent. So if you can reduce some expenses that you don't need to put into your marketing to increase your marketing budget so you can grow during this recession, bonus, 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 bonus for you, okay? So I would answer those three questions for my business and I would also recommend that you do it on a personal, your personal finances. Cut what you don't need during a recession, save, during a recession and renegotiate the things that you do need are there other packages and that you can switch to and still get the same service for less now is the time you're stuck at home now is the time to do that this particular recession is different because we're dealing with the coronavirus and we're practicing social distancing a lot of real estate transactions are in person we're doing bio consultations seller consultations even when i meet with my i focus on pre foreclosures i've been doing a lot of door knocking and meeting with people one-on-one -on -one. now is not the time just because we cannot meet face to face to sit back and let your business decline use technology to still have your meetings I just had a meeting today with my daughter's teacher on zoom we were all patient with her we know this is totally new but we are more interested in still being able to provide for our kids some type of a lesson plan same thing with real estate people that are looking to buy make that face-to-face -face using technology there's so much out here now the number ones that i use are zoom go to meeting skype zoom is really great i like zoom i use it the most um because they also have an app on the phone that you can use zoom so whether the person has a computer almost everyone has a smartphone right now we are thanking steve jobs so much right now because we have thousands of apps on our phones. I mean, now is the time to utilize all this technology and still keep your business running. I mean, faxes, all these things that can be done electronic right from your phone. So nothing has slowed down business-wise for me because technology is available and you need to use it. If you have not been using it, now is the time to go on. Virtual tours, all this stuff, YouTube, people are doing virtual tours and open houses now um, on YouTube. So that's what I'm saying. Now is the time if you have a listing, make sure that you have a video. The company that I use, they even offer a, a, a 3D video option. And what that does is when the person uh, walks through the video, they get to feel like they're walking 
through the house. These are things now we need to implement because now people want to see even more of the house before they're gonna risk going and actually walking through someone's house and maybe picking up the coronavirus. So now is the time I would say for your listings, your listings must look sharp, 100%, because now game is on. This is definitely a beauty contest. This is a beauty contest because people are not going to leave their house to risk um, being around the virus and all that is going on if that house does, is not attend to them online. So now is the time to make your house definitely pop, look beautiful. I would say definitely, I would not list anything on the market right now and not have a virtual tour and a 3D tour because people could really get a feel for the house online. So those are my tips. Like I said, recession or not, now's the time to 10X your business, buckle down and be successful in 2020 and the years to come. Any other tips that maybe you guys are implementing, share them in the comments below so that we can all grow during this recession. I love you, take care, bye bye.